We got a big weekly reset in Valhalla with an Animus inside the Animus. Yes, this is a new settlement decoration. The Abstergo pack is namely out. Of course, Red Eye is selling some pretty nice items too. If you have Twitch Prime, you can get some free items. And there's way more to talk about. So let's get into it. A like on the video would, of course, really help me out. And let's go. Congrats to Matthew for winning Helix Credit Pack giveaway number 23. I will send you an email. And that's the end of these weekly Helix Credit Pack giveaways for now. Let me know if you like them though. I might do them again in the future. I want to go for a longer season pass giveaway for now. So you have a chance to get the two big expansions for free. If you don't have them yet. You can enter via the link of course in the pinned comment. And be sure you are a subscriber of this channel before you enter. And good luck. Let's immediately go to Red House new spot in Ireland. We got the Viking Pyre Hull in the daily selection. Which is not that bad looking. We got some candles on the ship. The Black Raven tail piece for on our ship is in the weekly selection. And remember this one because it will come back a little later in the video. I kind of like the Black Raven tattoo for our right arm which looks kind of cool. Now but more exciting is the fact that the Knight of the Round Table items can already appear at Reda. The gloves that I was actually already wearing before this weekly reset are now at Reda. I think they look awesome and this set in particular will be amazing to get for the full set bonus perk. But yeah, it will of course be a while before all the five pieces are at Red Eye Shop. We'll be keeping an eye out and also that amazing Nameless Sword can now appear. I mean, this pack launched two weeks ago, so it's great that it's already at Red Eye. Other things you can buy this week are the Mournful Cry Poison Hammer that I think in terms of look, it's still one of the coolest looking hammers in the game in my opinion. The perk is not bad either if you like poison. It was at Reda a couple of times before already though, so high chance that you maybe already have it. Two brand new items at Reda are the Mystical Chest, which in terms of look is of course the same compared to the Iron Yard Chest and you see it very well in the Transmog system. But having two pieces of this armor set already gives you the poison clouds after 10 consecutive hits on a poisoned enemy. It's actually quite a fun perk so it might be nice to get this and then wait for another item of the set because the full set bonus is not that great at all. Also brand new at Red Eye is the Muspel's Wall Shield which for a heavy shield is actually not that big. It has a pretty good perk, block 5 times for a small fire around the enemy although that's on parry is actually better which you find on other shields in the game still though if you like to run around with a heavy shield and are looking for a cool new look this one might be worth picking up otherwise i would just skip it next to the contracts from red eye we of course also have those ubisoft connect challenges the community challenge was already completed so you can claim that for 10 extra opal the drinking and dice game are of course easy and 50 kills if you still need them with the spear or predator bow are both great to get at that snake location I showed you in a previous video which over here on the map near Glowichester. Save before you start and then kill the like 35 snakes and reload that save to do it all again and you will have both challenges in no time. Okay before we look at the Abstergo set one small heads up because there's a new Twitch Prime pack I will link to it in the video description. It includes the Black Raven settlement items including that tail piece but for in your settlement. But also the Scarecrow which is actually quite awesome. The tree is average and the mystical set does have like a legit tree as a smaller item and some other pretty cool settlement decorations like a runestone and a statue. So if you have Twitch Prime, I would just claim it. You also get 5 hours of 15% XP bonus, which is not really nice. Oh, and of course, if you have Twitch Prime and are sitting on that free subscription that you can give to a Twitch channel, it would help us out a lot. I will leave my Twitch channel in the video description, so... If you want to support us, would really help us out. Now it's crazy Abstergo time. We of course knew this pack was coming thanks to leaks. So this likely means that the cooler looking Izu Knight pack with the wings is coming two weeks from now. Because we're back on that two week release schedule for these packs. And yeah, the Abstergo set is not really that great. I think the Odyssey one looks way cooler and they are of course reselling that same mount. I still don't like that trend of bringing back older Helix items and asking full price for them again. The only thing that is kind of cool about this armor is the lack of cloak. So just like with the legacy outfits, you can actually see the back of Eivor. And I tried some of the new masks with the hood and you kind of get some creepy villain looks. 
which I'm digging actually. So it would be cool to get the hood and helm at Reda because of the unique look. I think the bird skin will be nice to get for Opal as well. And we now know that two weeks from now, these items can actually appear at Reda. So that's nice to know. So they can also choose if it appears at some point. If you want a gun in your game or a riot shield. Because those are the weapons that come with this set. Not a real big fan of the shield, but that's mostly because of the Ubisoft logo. Why? The sword is a gun, but used as a sword, a bayonet sword, and it especially looks wild with two of these guns on your back. You can of course show the look of this gun over any other heavy sword in the game, and the weapon itself has a special effect, something we're seeing now for all these new helix weapons. It namely on a special attack, so that left hand charge can stagger enemies. So you will have this smoke appear, which stuns nearby enemies. Although, to be fair, the range is very small. So you mostly only stun the enemy that gets hit by the blade. There's also a 10 second cooldown, which you see thanks to a perk that appears above your health after doing this special effect. But yeah, overall, it's not that impactful as I would have hoped. And also not as fun as with that Knight of the Round Table sword. Which, by the way, does not have a cooldown at all. So yes, once again, this Abstergo set is kind of a letdown in many areas. The shield's perk increases attack by 10 when blocking a ranged attack. So you have to sit behind your shield waiting for an arrow and then go crazy for like 15 seconds. If attack buffs in Valhalla were noticeable, which they are of course sadly not, like you will not notice 10 extra attacks. So that makes this perk pretty useless as well and you also just want to return ranged attacks right by hitting the parry button at the right time. The armor set bonus is also kind of weird, increasing attack and then also speed if you wear the full set, depending on the remaining health of the enemy. So how this works is that you get a buff depending on the health of the enemy you hit last. So the lower the health, the higher the buff, but the moment you switch targets, the buff resets to the health of the target you just hit. It's also only active for 5 seconds, so if you wait for too long the buff will just be gone. And you also just want a higher buff against higher health enemies, but now it's the opposite. Plus the attack bonus doesn't make any sense, because only 30 extra attack is noticeable in the game. Anything above that can still appear in your stat page, like you can go to 50 above your current attack, but you will just not notice it. So basically a quarter of the buff from this armor set is completely useless. So overall, meh. Still fun to get some of these items at Reda, of course, but mostly for the unique visual looks. Speaking of unique visual looks, the new tattoos are kind of cool. Okay, maybe not that Abstergo logo on your hat, but the stripes on the arms and chest are pretty nice. For settlement icons, we got a new tower, I guess. I mean, you can climb it, so that's great. And we have that Animus again. Yeah, not sure how to feel about this one. It's like, it's just so, I don't know. We got a military monument and wait for it, an anti-air gun. So when spaceships attack, we are protected. I don't think they shoot, although to be fair, I wasn't attacked by an airstrike yet. So who knows? The tree is kind of crazy with the wires, not a big fan during day, although it looks kind of cool during night. And you see the new naval content right here with another gun that was of course already leaked and the Abstergo logo on the design. Of course, subscribe for way more Valhalla content if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And totally check out our previous video on an ability that I wish I had not upgraded. You can see why by clicking on the screen, or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. Send, of course, your shots to the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter, or my dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. You can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments, and be sure you accept the rules, and then you are able to post. Okay, Joyce, come in, the photo mode expert here on the channel. You selected three shots from the community, so which one did you pick this time? What's up, everyone? Let's start with Hunter King over on Twitter, whose Eivor is finishing off an enemy using his sickle sword. And looking at the terrified but also comical expression of the Irish soldier here, he caught himself in quite the predicament. Next up is Crip Nito over on Discord, Whoa. who took a shot of a werewolf with mercy? I mean, it's holding up its claws like it's surrendering of something, or it has nothing to do with something. Makes for quite the interesting picture. I mean, is this pure innocence, or is it a trick? Would you, would you kill it still? 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and by the way, you? cool layout as well, right? Yeah. I would still kill it. I mean, they're all the same. They're not going to change. They're not going to change. <laughs> Off with hats. And finally, we've got the Dark Lord Ash over on Twitter, where Eivor is not showing any mercy, trying to finish off a druid from the Children of Danu with her axe. Love the action pose here, where the druid also has an arrow stuck in its back. Oh. Very powerful shot. Yeah, for sure. I love the expression from Eivor here. Like, she, she, she really means it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, of course, for sending your shots. Totally send them our way, and then maybe you'll be in the next video. Subscribe for way more Valhalla content, and totally check out our previous video about an ability that I wish I could revert back to rank 1. You can watch it on this uh, by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you next time, and goodbye. Goodbye.